leaders. Whoever is aware that something like that has happened should be prepared to stand up to it. But the things we need to do, which we have done over the past, the previous government did it, that is true, putting legislation in place. We have come to continue uh, with that. And I have said, uh, given a personal commitment, that the day Parliament passes the Freedom of Information Bill, the day it lands on my desk, I will sign it into law. I think that other issues, such as the Public Officers Accountability Bill, which is uh, uh, we're waiting to put into legislation, reviewing the charge law to allow the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice to be able to independently investigate cases of corruption rather than wait for a complaint to be made is one of the issues that I'll take up as, uh, in my next term as presidency. Expanding resourcing of the anti-corruption agencies, which we are doing. We've increased the funding to charge. Indeed, IOKO has seen a two 300% increase in financing in terms of personnel. Also personal leadership, I will lead by example in terms of corruption, deal strongly with people who are corrupt in my government. Decentralization is one of the issues I was going to raise, my brother raised it. When you have an over-centralized system, it makes it more corrupt. If you decentralize and send the resources to the local level, there's better supervision. Sting operations like ANAS has been doing, we need to involve the judiciary to see how it can be accepted as evidence in our courts. Unfortunately, we don't have that environment. And so when you do sting operations, it's very difficult to present that evidence before Thank a court. Thank you so much for your response. All of you want a rebuttal? Please. You have one. Thank you, Madam Moderator. Mr. Moderator, I'm, I'm beginning to believe that uh, the president... Thank you very much. Mr. Ayarga, would you like to comment or is it all right with you if I skip you? Because you said you didn't know about the existence of this plan. Come again. About the National Anti-Corruption Plan. Do you want to comment on it? How you would implement it? Uh, I didn't hear you very well. There exists a National Anti-Corruption yeah, Plan. Yeah. We seem to be stuck between the executive and the legislature. What would be your commitment towards implementing this plan? I, I think that um, has, from the word go, uh, many of our regulations and uh, our constitutions need to be reviewed when it comes to some particular aspect. I know that um, Shrag and uh, uh, Yoko, when given the necessary powers, they can work beyond others, um, uh, what do you call it, anti-corrupt policies that will be issued to be able to change reforms and legislative reforms and attitudinal change. And in addition, if we establish a special unit to keep an eye on government appointees, I believe top officials and others known sources of corruption similar to Armiyao Anas will work better for us than the public sector alone. Generate thank our you. tax revenues. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. You have specifically mentioned corruption within the taxation system. What exactly will you do to stamp this out? The, the measures are going to be difficult, but there have to be a variety of them, a variety of them, uh, including what I, consider, what I, con I, I, I call the ANAS principle, um, setting up highly motivated professional groups of young people who will work, if you like, as it were, undercover to unearth examples of corruption wherever they can find it and thereby allow the authority to deal with the issue. Because not only do you unearth the corruption, but you actually deal with it in terms of sending people to court prosecuting them. Hopefully the courts will cooperate and make sure that the offenders are are found guilty and sanctions appropriately enforced. So a variety of measures, but a key one is the NAS principle, as well as, of course, what you do to do to securize those who are in the, in the tax collecting agencies. Thank you very much. Now to the same question about... I'm really upset, and I think that I should let you know I was waiting for the Anas video to be shown. And that confirmed the reports that I've been having all along. Officers of customs, you are Ghanaian citizens. You have to help us to build a better Ghana. 
But if this is the kind of behavior, this is the kind of attitude that you have, you are not helping us in any way. Indeed, today, I came to express my disgust and my revulsion at the way some of you are helping to erode the benefits that we are making or we have to give to our people. You are in charge of revenue. Every day we hear reports about malpractices. People collecting bribes with careless abandon. People who think that they are entitled to take bribes. How can we get rid of corruption? I'm not saying that nobody should appreciate the work that you are doing. But when you make it a condition, somebody should give you some money before you perform your duties. I've known Kassan for quite some time. I was Commissioner of Internal Revenue. And the Anas video confirmed the fears I've had for quite some time. Look at yourself. I want to talk very frankly to you. Somebody joins customs. Two, three years, the person is putting up a building. The person owns a car. In what organization will it take you three years to build? And it is not the exception. It is the rule. Very often, my minister for finance is worried about the fiscal gap that we have. And your duty is to collect, to display transparency in the way you operate. And I'm happy with the initiative that General Mode has taken. And I give him my full support. My brothers and sisters, let me be very honest with you. If it means transferring everybody, I will give him the authority to do so. If it means changing all the people in customs, I will do so. Because we do not owe anybody anything. But I know there are good people amongst you. The good people should be influencing the bad ones. Because your reputation now has been soiled. And this is something that we have known all along. And I want to use this occasion to send a signal to your colleagues at Aflao. I'm aware of what they are doing. And very soon, we'll descend on them. And then, DVLA, one of these days, they will find me there. My brothers and sisters, this is a good opportunity for us to showcase Ghana. This is the gateway. When people want to do investment in Ghana, they come to the gateway and they are met with corruption. Go and come, go and come, go and come. Because there are some who don't want the reds. You want the blue. You want the pink. You will collect the green and the other colors. Yes. Don't be surprised that today I'm in an angry mood. And I have every reason to be angry. Because you are depriving the generality of the people of their entitlements. Look at the number of people who can hardly make ends meet. Look at the number of people who cannot go to school because we don't have the resources. Look at the number of people who go to school under trees. Look at the number of people who cannot even have access to medical care. And we need the revenue to be able to do that. And what is happening? The money you collect does not belong to you. It belongs to the nation. And nobody has a right to appropriate what belongs to the nation. And I've told General Modi that he has every right to do what he thinks is right. Of course, some allegations have also been made against GCNet. Their day of reckoning is also going to come. I'm not going to judge them on the basis of this. But the matter must be investigated. And let me also say this. Who is watching the watchman? You have security agencies which are operating here. I wish that the revelations from Anas could have come to me through the security agencies which are here. No, that has not been the case. You have a situation 
where all kinds of task forces have been created. There are people who come here throwing their weight around, dropping names of so-called high ups. I've told General Modi, and I'm telling you, if anybody comes with the president's name, the first thing you should do is to arrest that person. 